I uh, first met Eric Bennett when he was singing with the Kingdom Airs, and um, I used to go hear them a lot. We live close to uh, Pigeon Forge in Morristown, Tennessee, and it's not too much of a drive to go over to Dollywood, and so we normally get season passes every year and take our kids over there uh, ever so often, and um, I always love to go in and listen to the Kingdom Airs program. And so I got to know Eric through that, and one of the things I loved about him, he's a great bass singer. He, sings, he can sing low and do all that, you know, <laughs> He can do all that stuff. <laughs> but I heard him, I've heard him take a lead and just really minister the lyric of the lead line to my heart many times. And so uh, when we were looking at songs for this album, I had a song, a quartet song that I wanted to do. I have definite ideas of what I think quartet music is supposed to sound like. And uh, so I picked this song uh, specifically with Eric in mind. It's not a new song, it's an old song, but I don't think you'll ever hear it done any better than Eric Bennett of Integrity Quartet is going to do it for you this afternoon. Right? George Amon Webster wrote this song um, probably close to 30 years ago, but a simple message that I love to hear, guys. Yeah. 
Eric Bennett. All these guys up here, and I mean every one of them. Most of them I talk, I talk to Tracy all night long just to stay awake. Talk about nothing, but we talk. Eric, Jeff, Glenn, Jeff, there's a lot of Jeffs up here. I love them all, and we all are a family. We don't compete. We share with each other what love is. And that was the honor, not only being with you, because I love you with all my heart, but it was just an honor to be known as a family of, of bass singers. You know, if we could make it. <laughs> if we could make it without tenors and leads and baritones. We, we'd all ride in one bus together, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh. Isn't it great, isn't it great when you think you've got it all figured out and you've got it all planned and you've got it on a time schedule and the Lord comes along and says, excuse me, I need to get in. <laughs> 